ethical. Vegan all day. I hear you guys. I would be there too, but I can't. I know I can't for my health. I could barely absorb anything as it is, okay? So when you are pregnant, do not cut out meat unless, you know, you've been doing it your whole life and it's an ethical thing. So that's all. And I'm going to say it every time she implies that when you're pregnant, vegetables are better than meat. No. beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So today I want to take a peek at story time from Alexandra Rodriguez to see the funny story of her finding out the gender of her baby. So I have no idea what's going to happen in this video, but let's take a look. Why not? We really have nothing else going on in girl world do we? Okay, so here we have it. Finding out our baby's gender unexpectedly. I wonder if she did really want to be surprised and like let the baker tell her, you know, how some gender reveals are like that, which is sometimes also a fantastic catastrophe. So if you ever catch those on YouTube, probably on TikTok, they're really funny to watch. So let's see what she's got here. Yara and I are gonna go look at a baby shower venue. Baby so shower pretty. venue? And I'm like, all right, sorry about that weird jump cut. Bella got into something, she knocked something over, so she's fine, I fixed it. Everything went down exactly the way I wasn't expecting it to. Does life ever. Good morning. Whoa, did this move? <laughs> oh. It's movable. That's fun. I'm just gonna leave it there. I truly just need to get my hair on my face so we can get ready because Yar and I are gonna go look at a baby shower venue. It was a little bit tricky, kind of. So, uh, I don't know, guys, I'm a stickler for tradition. Your friends, your friends are supposed to throw you the baby shower, but fine. <laughs> planning out you know she's gonna do when the to thing. book a baby shower venue because like you have to wait a while but it's also falling in oh my god i know what she's talking about she's talking about like a hall or something that's crazy my best baby showers were just in my home my sister had mine i mean it's so much more cozy than a freaking venue we had like little hors d'oeuvres i mean you don't need to go crazy but Mm, this is Alex we're talking about. It's like going to be June, a mini wedding. Which is like one of the busiest times to rent space. Why June? So yesterday I started calling. Actually, I was inquiring online and everyone was getting back to me really fast. I was hitting up like all... July. All the kind of go-to spots. All the spots that looked, you know, just baby shower. I would do August. I originally wanted September. to like do something kind of on the water like a little more south in Rhode Island, maybe like Jamestown or Newport. It's a mini wedding. And I'm telling you, <laughs> fully booked, fully booked, fully booked, fully booked, fully booked. And we already do it like on a fucking Wednesday night. Have a specific date in June for the baby shower because June. Um, we have a few people coming from out of state and we wanted to like plan it with them first. So June. like we kind of narrowed it down to one day that we could do the June. baby shower where everyone is able to come from out of state. So we're not flexible with our date, but I did end up hearing back from two places that look really nice that do have availability for our date. So I didn't vlog yesterday. I ended up like getting really anxious about it just because like the more places that had said that they didn't have availability, I was like, yeah, well, June's early for you. June is a lot of competition because weddings, especially in the North. Um, yeah, she's anxious about something she shouldn't be anxious about. I'm going to, ooh, I'm going to lose it here. I mean, maybe you guys, maybe this is what it is nowadays, but back in my day, honestly, though, we had my sister's wedding shower at a venue because there were just too many people. Um, but baby shower? I don't know. Babe, we gotta, we gotta figure something out, like, stat. 
because of course we were kind of waiting until we hit like 12 weeks but then my mom and I were on vacation and you know life has just been busy so we're gonna just swing by. It should tell you something. I heard back from one of them. Let me see if I heard back from the other one that had availability. Okay wait. Okay you can stop by and check them out. They'll be there after 2 p.m. If you wanted to come then she can answer questions. Okay. Okay cool. So I have heard back from both that we can swing by to die. So hopefully we like one of them because I kind of think Kind of think that's it or the backyard and trust me backyard. I don't have the idea of doing it in the backyard Renting a tent like we did with the yeah. wedding But um, it's just so stressful with not knowing you know how the weather's gonna be And I think it would be a little tight if we had to do it in our house, but, you know with it being our first baby I am super excited and I wanted to like do the whole Whole big baby shower thing. Do like I some know. cute mm -hmm. decorations. My mom is super. She's throwing herself a baby shower. Got it. Excited about it too. She wants to like do some of the planning together. It is so dreary today. It's so dreary and so is yesterday and so is tomorrow. <laughs> but they say April showers brings May flowers. And yes, I am wearing my blue on purpose <laughs> because we're going to look for a baby boy's baby shower spot. Also, I figured Yara and I could talk in the car and tell no, you guys finally about out. Um, how I found out the gender by accident. God, so, she is we'll so fucking insufferable. That. So I just wanted to hop on and fill you guys in on today. So I will check back in. Oh, the struggles of being Alex. After I finish my makeup. A few minutes later. All right, I just realized the blue theme is going. I need to get my nails done at some point. Maybe we'll do blue. Okay, so uh, before we head out, I wanted to quickly share with you guys a haul of some new pieces I got from Parade. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring. Yeah, by the way, we're skipping this. So I'll see you in a second. All right, so welcome back. She was advertising underwear, okay? Listen, I had one sponsor for underwear and I had, I was forced to wear it. <laughs> Not forced, but it was part of the deal. Uh, I can't give her shit like that. I made it its own video though. Um, but yeah, welcome back guys. I'm not subjecting you to her. Uh, it was five minutes too. So that's Check out the venue and five see minutes. You'll if it's a vibe, get back. <laughs> I'm nervous. I didn't make the bed this morning because <gasps> we rushed really? out because you had an appointment at the vet for your anal glands. I've accepted at this point that my dog got problematic booty. I also have, have a to give him because something. I just crimped my hair and <laughs> I just want to put it up. I don't know what it is. I just just want to wear my hair I up. get it. Venue one. That's so pretty. Look how green it is. All right, you guys, we just went and looked at the first venue and it was gorgeous it was really really stunning as you could see i took like one small clip in there because it was very it was kind of small but the area that would have the baby shower is only in like a semi-private area and it's kind of like in the center but then there could be people having lunch or brunch like around you it does have like some blockage with the greenery and like some kind not of good enough iced glass not good enough for our um, but there was so much greenery it was so beautiful they're known for their food being like really, really good. Um, but for how many people we're gonna have and for it being like a semi-private space, it was pre how quoted pretty pricey. So I don't, I just can't, I don't know if I can justify it for how many people it's gonna be. And that's like, and it was the minimum price that they had. The only good thing was it goes all towards food and drink and they can do like a custom like brunch bar but they're like it's not a normal brunch they make it like super beautifully plated and they can do customized drinks and mocktails um and yeah i mean it was stunning it really was pretty but i just i think if i wanna if we're gonna do a separate space i do think we'll do it at a somewhere that's space. a little more private and also we're still working on our guest list and it's pretty small so like i don't know all of a sudden what? i am kind of questioning if we should just do it at the house if it's do it at the house small. do it at the fucking house bitch two angel numbers on that license plate i was gonna mention that but i didn't want to interrupt you oh you noticed it i've got this man noticing angel numbers okay also 
we are now driving to our next spot. We don't have to be there till 2 and it's 1.30, so I think we're, they said we can come anytime after 2. So I think we're going to stop and have lunch. Oh, yes. Uh, Got to eat. Somewhere. I don't know. But it's on the other side. We're going to a completely different town. So figured while we're driving, I could finally tell you guys the story about how, how we found out the gender that beautiful morning. <laughs> okay, so here was the plan when it came to finding out the uh, sex of the baby. We wanted to do something like intimate between the two of us for the reveal, but we wanted it to be surprised. So when I did the, the nipped test at 10 weeks, um, they took a ton of blood for like genetic testing. They also can do the, uh, the sex. So here's the thing with my OB at the hospital, this was before I switched, I kept getting things in my portal all the and they couldn't tell her then that she was too heavy got it the time like always new documents in the portal new documents in the portal so with the nipped test i did it through god i can't remember the name of the site but the site had a separate it was a completely separate entity from the she ob like it was a se separate it. company mm -hmm. that you do it from you get the results like when they get results when they receive the blood when they get the sample all this stuff you get like a text to your phone okay great cool. awesome i got the text that they received it awesome um and there were two different things like horizon and panorama i think they were called they were called two separate things one was the carrier screening and then one was like the genetic screening that would have the sex on it My memory, I can't remember anything. I waited too she long to tell check the story. Her blood Are you levels. Still okay, okay. Iron. So, okay, it's coming back. It's coming back. So, one day I got a result that was ready, and I had mixed it up. I thought it was the carrier screening one because they're called like, like I said, Horizon Panorama something. They're not like gender or. All right. <laughs> or, uh, because... carrier screening. It has like names. <sighs> so I clicked on it, and it was the one with the gender. Okay. But nay, nay, that's not when we found out the gender. Smack dab in the middle where the where the sex is written, it said not reported. And I'm like, oh, thank God. Thank God I didn't just ruin everything, babe. I'm like, I thought I was opening the carrier screening test result, not, not the one that would have the sex of the baby on it. Okay, so it said not reported great i go on like i go online and people are like yeah that happened with me i had to call my doctor and they had to like request the info right so i call my doctor i'm like hey i got my result for this but it didn't have the sex on it um it's possible to get that and they're like oh for sure we'll call you with the sex of the baby we'll call you we'll call you that's what they told me another reason to switch from this place all right <sighs> the next day new document in the portal i've never gotten my nipped or results from this website in the portal ever insurance never this ever i <laughs> at this point it's the next morning it's about 8 a.m he's already in his office working i'm in bed i'm like oh new thing in the portal i'm half asleep i just had picked up my phone I'm like oh something new in the portal click the screen pops up smack dab in the middle of the paper it's just mail <laughs> with a big M? Big blue letters, mail. And I physically went and I smacked my face and covered my mouth. I'm laying in bed. It, I laid there probably, I think the dog farted. We have Bruno with us. Okay. Did he fart? Wow. Brody. He did get his anal glands express this morning. Yeah. I lay there for probably a full 60 seconds alone in shock that I just ruined everything. We were going to, I didn't, How I didn't, brain. I didn't even tell you the plan. The plan was when I got the results i was gonna have my mom log in and get it and get us a little cake with blue or pink inside and we were okay. gonna have a little reveal on our own that was the plan <laughs> so, so i'm laying there i'm in shock because number one i was positive it was a girl i was positive because the heart rate was high just like i was craving sweets i don't know those old wives tales they don't mean sh all right <laughs> yeah i wanted a girl too i think she wanted one because it's more fun to dress up I didn't care if it was a girl or a boy. Bullshit. Genuinely just so Bullshit. craving a baby. Don't care the gender. Don't care. Okay. Just want a healthy baby. But I was sure it was a girl. I just felt like, I, like, I feel like it's a girl. I just feel like it's a girl. So seeing that, not only was I was like in total shock because A, I wasn't expecting to read that that morning. And B, I was well, also like, they were oh gonna having a boy, which was so exciting because like both of our families don't have a lot of boys. My side has like 
hardly any at all seriously Good. someone said so it was very exciting the thought of it so then i'm like what do i do so papa goob side has like a billion boys like he is the oldest of six and one of them is a girl i well, i i, what I, do you do? I run into your office once i muster up the strength about a minute or two later of just spacing out I'm in my pajamas, my hair is wicked wonky, I've got my retainer wicked. in. I run and I'm like, babe, I found out. <laughs> and you're like, you found out what? Found out what? And I'm like, I found out. And you're like, spit it out. What did you find? <laughs> you were so annoyed. You're like, what did, what did you find out? <laughs> Just tell me. And I had my nervous laugh and he knows that's never a good sign when I have my nervous laugh. He can always pick up on it. And I go, the gender. I found out the gender. <laughs> and he goes, what? Tell me. And I'm like, no. I have to do something cute for you. We haven't been able to. None of this has gone in the cute movie way that I wanted it to. Because when I found out I was pregnant too, happen. I took my test like, like early. That. I had a very faint line and I wanted to like run. I ran into his office and I was Shit. like, do you see this? No. Like, am I crazy or do you see this? Like, I, we didn't have a cute way to like tell him I was pregnant because I needed him to clarify that there was a faint line there. Because I'm like, no, I want to do something cute. I'm going to go get like a cake or something. And then this mother goes it's a boy isn't it because if it was a girl you would have reacted differently because i was in such shock yeah i was in See, such she wanted shock a girl. i really was so sure it was a girl so he was like it's a boy isn't it and i'm like how oh, yeah why did you say I'm like how do you know you didn't really think you didn't think of anything right what it was you never really had a feeling of if it was a boy or a girl did you no no i had no preference to be honest neither of us had a preference but i strongly Bullshit. just thought it was a girl it was so exciting Bullshit. though we both were very emotional that morning we just we ended up just sitting in his office for like a 15 20 minutes just like half in silence smiling <sighs> just a lot it was just a lot it was a really exciting it's moment exciting. i wish i had a cute reveal video for you guys we had uh we found out in the ultrasound so guys or a cute reveal for him not gonna lie especially for the second one i was crazy disappointed it was a boy like i wanted a girl so bad guys when i had found out i was pregnant anything but oh, i had two healthy honestly, pregnancies that's though, how so. i'm really seeing life unfold it's never like the movies no <laughs> Duh. it's really not um but it's it's still beautiful and all these moments were just although we didn't film them they were very special to us in private off camera and i know a lot of people were asking to see it i'm like i don't have it because everything went down well, exactly should. the way it's... i wasn't expecting it to. yeah it, well first of all this isn't a movie alex uh and good i'm glad i'm proud of her for keeping some things between her and her husband it's her life is not a show completely I was so salty. Can't I'm like, the hospital didn't everything. call me. They put it in the portal. Oh, I didn't even know they could do that because I thought it was all separately through well, that. Well, probably took... Like password protected or it gives you like so many warnings before you actually open them? Well, no, because most normal people don't think life is a movie either. But um, yeah, so sometimes parts of your blood work don't come back at the same time. You know, they didn't do it to fuck you, Alex. They didn't do it to screw up your vlog. They just did what they do document Thank you it should at least uh, okay like, hey, are you sure you want to open this? for are something sure so gonna, serious because you know? they told me they were going to call so i was like all right when they call me i'm gonna like really? i don't i don't even know what i was going to do when they were going to call me i was going to ask I if i could like know. have it written down and come get it or can you call my mom i don't know i know it's so annoying but i don't know i don't know so yeah even on your that's how i found out we were having mail. a beloved baby boy and with that we just got to sweet green so we're gonna pick up a salad and probably watch something in the Tesla while we eat and then head over to our next appointment. That's the tea. Perfect timing. We're having a boy. Let's get a harvest bowl. Yeah, 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 yeah. And of course, a pee break. Okay. Ooh. Six and a half Seems loud in there. Later. Hey guys, it is 7.30. The sun just set. Is it obvious that I took a nap? I'm gonna enjoy the pregnancy naps now while I can yeah. before we have a newborn. <laughs> I don't know why, like, all the baby stuff is so exciting, but it makes me really tired. I think just because I'm, like, excited and the adrenaline. I also forgot to mention yesterday I fell deep into, like, learning about what you should put on a baby registry. And I've seen some people ask if we'll do, like, a public registry. I think it is so freaking sweet that you guys want to Don't buy do stuff it. for the baby. Don't do it. Um, and contribute. I think that's the nicest ever. Don't but I it. can't accept that stuff from you guys. That's, like, like, so sweet. 
but you do not have to do that. Your watching well, is enough support. Yeah, and all the sponsors she's going to get. But I think a lot of us just are curious. And I'm so grateful. So, I, am, I don't know. There's so much it's okay. to still learn. And I'm just, I'm loving every second of it. Like, good. Learning about the different bottle sizes and swaddling. And it's just all mm -hmm. so much fun. Um, I wonder if they're going to take a Lamaze class. Um, we took a Lamaze class. We didn't obviously use it, but um, it's still a good class to take. One of the most popular Instagrams you guys recommended to me was taken, taking Kara babies. And she has all this amazing advice on like sleep for babies and sleep cycles. And that's been like really interesting. Oh, so I hope she doesn't get caught up in that. Site. Oh, I look, I didn't even look at myself. I think uh, my wonky. I, I really do be coming on here just not knowing what I look like half the time. But yeah, I also asked you guys about some baby book recommendations on Instagram. What's I post there you're um, expecting? pretty much every day. So follow me there if you're not. No. Got some awesome recommendations from you guys. Uh, so yeah, it's just such a fun new chapter. I did also end up hearing back from another place uh, that is available and I really, really like how it looks online. So I think I'm gonna swing by there at some point this weekend, you should eat there. Out. But yeah, we are making dinner. I got this on sale. They all look like restaurants. You ought to eat there, see if you like the food. Sale, it's the Kite Hill Tortellini and it's made with almond milk, almond milk ricotta um, alternative. It still has decent protein and I was just kind but of can interested. can you absorb it? You know, we're not fully like meat free or dairy you free, be. but um, you should like be. to like, incorporate some of those no. products into our no, diet. No, 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 hey, oh. pregnant ladies, listen to me. Listen to Mama Goop. All right, ethical reasons, obviously ethical. Vegan all day. I hear you, guys. I would be there too, but I can't, I know I can't for my health. I could barely absorb anything as it is, okay? So when you are pregnant, do not cut out meat unless, you know, you've been doing it your whole life and it's an ethical thing. So that's all. And I'm going to say it every time she implies that when you're pregnant, vegetables are better than meat. No, you need a balance. Meat, vegetables, a little bit of fruit, and as little sugar as you can get. So have the new marinara I got on sale, Yo Mama's. So I'll let you guys know good. how I've both of those are. Okay, so I just cooked it up and tasted it. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. Long. I don't know if it's the sauce or the tortellini probably the tortellini. i added a little bit of seasoning and i'm gonna top it with a little parm in terms of it being like dairy free though couldn't tell just needs a little more salt and pep well except for the parmesan. garlic powder okay you guys we are gonna go eat dinner and watch buying beverly hills the season has been really really good i feel like it could be the next selling sunset let me know if you guys have been watching it it's the second season now it's like another LA <laughs> reality real estate show but I really like it so I also did not realize that the mother Kyle is part of Real Housewives which I don't Who know cares? I've never watched Real Housewives I don't know where to start I'm very overwhelmed don't by it don't do it no <laughs> like it sounds great but I don't know where to start so let me know if I do if I should watch it slash what season so all right I love you guys thank you for hanging out today and I will see you soon all right, real quick, before we head to the comments, um, I do want to make a comment of um, Priscilla. I apologize for not having your full name, but it's another, um, she's another Alexandra Rodriguez reactor. And she got a hold of a letter written by Alex to the judge related to her dad. But what shocked me is how terrible she writes. And I don't know why that that surprised me. She seems to speak well. She definitely speaks better than Amber Lynn. Um, but I was shocked at how poorly written that letter was. I could barely read it. Okay, not that I'm the English extraordinaire, but some bitch. So I guess she was mostly homeschooled um, because she was bullied. Okay, so my theory was is her and Nancy probably just sat around all day and watched TV. Okay, because she definitely didn't learn anything. And the handful of people I know who've been literally homeschooled are ridiculously smart. So, I don't know, guys. I don't mean to 
like make it seem like she's a bad person because she can't string a couple words together but I don't know it just surprised me so whatever all right so this was yesterday um I think it is today okay so it's April 10th today um yeah here we go here we go Alex I didn't realize it's controversial to throw your own baby shower with these comments. Is she, well, she doesn't have friends, so she, maybe that's why. I don't know. I know a ton of people who have LOL. My mom and I are planning it together, which will be super fun. But thank you for all your sweet comments. Love you guys. Sure you do. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of old school. Like, if Mimi Goob were here, she'd be like, she's throwing her own baby shower. Um, but that's our, that's our, like, heritage. We're kind of old, traditional Italian. You know, I don't know. Things like that are taboo. Same as having your baby shower in, like, the beginning of, of trimester three. I mean, you don't want it at the very end because you always run the risk of you're going into labor. But like in the ninth, eighth month, you know, because you're really pregnant for 10. So, um, and it's a surprise because you're exhausted when you're pregnant. You do not need to be throwing any parties, okay? Especially that pregnant. And she gonna be a big girl, I'm telling you right now. Okay, this is a good idea and I've done this before. My favorite thing we did at our baby shower was ask everyone that came to bring their favorite book instead of a card and write a, so a short message inside. Yes, I've been to baby showers with that and I think that's adorable. It's so sweet watching my little girl look through her books from all her friends and family. Yeah, yep, mm -hmm. just highly recommend. Can never have too many books. <laughs> Your lips still look really blue. I didn't notice, but um, I hope to God <laughs> Number one, does she, doesn't she have an R ring or an Apple watch? You could keep control of, you could keep a, ta a tab, uh, you can keep tabs on your pulse ox level. I hope she's doing that. Um, number two, like I am telling you, the exhaustion, I hope they're doing B12, vitamin D. Yes, I know she's taking a prenatal supplement, but you can't always absorb, especially when you're eating like, not the right foods, in my opinion, as a mama. I was expecting something way more fun slash crazy from how overhyped you played out sharing your this big story. Just found out accidentally reading in the health portal is fairly common. <laughs> I threw my own bridal shower because I'm a control freak, aka Bridezilla. I like what I like what I like and I want things the way I want them. Literally nothing weird about throwing your own baby shower. Alex hearted this. Well let me tell you why. It's like you're giving the signal that you're asking people to shower you with gifts. Because that's really the point of a shower, to bring gifts. So Oh my God, this is so me. LOL. Let's see the name. Trace, Tracy MS1. <laughs> this is it. LOL. Wait till the baby comes and you sit there in your underwear, tired, hormonal, feeding your baby and crying because you cut the baby's nails too short. Even though the baby isn't crying. August 12th, 1994. That was me. Yes. Amen. Or you haven't had a shower in fucking three days because your husband leaves early in the morning and, you know, nobody can watch the baby. Although when they were infants, I used to just bring them in the bathroom in their like car seat thing or their bouncy seat and just keep them in there. But, um, yeah, or you go out somewhere, the baby is impeccably clean and dressed, and you're... <laughs> okay, here we go, too. Baby registry tip, don't ask for milk bottles. 
some babies are very particular on which nipple they, they are able to suck on. Yes. Or get a couple. Get a couple of each brand. My daughter had a very specific bottle nipple. And whenever I found them in the store, I would have to buy several at a time. She would not use any others. Yeah, same thing with, with um, pacifiers. Your baby is going to choose what your baby wants. And there's really not much you could do about it. You're such an overcomer, Alex. What is that all about? Referencing a certain letter. My comment was taken down within seconds. She clearly knows it's wrong or she's trying to hide how sick she is. It's different when it's your family. It's Let's say it's not different. It's trickier. Although, she didn't really have a, um, a relationship with this person. Now, starting up a relationship with this person, I don't know. I, I don't know, guys, but just keep in mind, it's her dad. And she didn't grow up with him, so she really has no idea what he's like. <laughs> I can't imagine trying to plan a baby shower in the month of June, the wedding month. <laughs> I was thinking eight or nine months PG was the time to have a shower. Anyone else? Thoughts? Congrats, Alex and Yar. Yeah, I think she should have it in uh, July, August, September. August, not September. July, mid to late July or early August. I am not able to comment on Instagram. Are other people able to? Well, guess what? Fan Grammy, you're blocked. All right, I'm going to close out with this because I do have thoughts on sleep training. Now, I, I let me explain. If you know, you know. When you start to get to like eight weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks of the baby's age and they're still not sleeping, it kind of changes you, okay? You get a little, uh, especially if, you know, I had to go back to work at six weeks. I wasn't, you know, I didn't have a great job like I have now. So it changes you as a person. And also Papa Goob is very traditional i don't know love you baby you weren't any help but anyways i won't get into that it it's really it's going to depend on a lot of things you can't say well i'm going to train my baby you you don't even know what's going to happen so that being preference let, let me read this comment also if i could provide a controversial personal opinion on baby sleep I did not choose to sleep train my child. I truly believe it is all about individual temperament and not sleep training that actually does anything, especially if you read scientific studies regarding sleep or developmentally appropriate information for child development. If you are interested in checking out gentle parenting approaches, I highly recommend, hey, sleepy baby, they didn't have all that shit with my kids, but um, I'm not going to lie. A couple times, I just had to let them cry it out. I, You know, I'm telling you guys, like 12 weeks of getting two hours of sleep at a time and you still have to go to work, <laughs> it changes you. Just warning. Okay, well, that was it. It was pretty boring. It was pretty standard the way she found out. Whatever. Um, life is good. Uh, it's funny that uh, pretty much the letter became mainstream now. Way to go, Priscilla. Um, please do not say I'm a PEDO supporter because I'm not. All I'm saying is it's tricky because it's her father and those letters, public record. Okay? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video, and I hope to catch you on the next one. Bye!